guys. And one of my favorite things to do is to go to historic locations, sort of like Shays Buffalo. And today I have the uh, blessing and the opportunity to take my daughter to Sesame Street Live. She loves Elmo, she loves Abby, it's amazing. But it's interesting because when I go to these historic uh, places, they are always riddled with spirits. They're always with, riddled with ghosts. So it's always an interesting encounter to be able to protect ourselves from that. So stay tuned and I'll be talking um, about how I deal with it. Because it's getting a little cold. Because you can probably see my breath. It's a chilly day here in Buffalo um, on day three. See any ghosts yet? So we're on to day three, and if you're seeing me look a little tired, it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm doing a hundred videos, a hundred days, and I'm only on day three. It's because of that little one, and I just got back from Sesame Street Live. <coughs> Hundreds, thousands of kids. They outnumbered the adults. A little exhausted. I hoped this little one would be taking a nap now. As you can tell, it doesn't really seem like that's gonna happen. So I'm sneaking this video in, hoping <laughs> that I get the five minutes to film it. Because that's the life of a medium. It is just like yours. I have to eat, I have to uh, sleep, I need to parent. And in the meantime, I also have to do readings. My job, I write. There's a blog coming out today, or did come out today, I should say. So, I'm going to go back to Sesame Street Live because it was at the famous Shays Theater in downtown Buffalo. Old, beautiful theater. But you know what's there in that old theater? Lots of ghosts. Lots and lots and lots of them. And so I had fun protecting myself, protecting my little one from all of those uh, spooky, creepy crawlers that go there. Have you gone to a theater um, and had the instance where you feel a presence, where you feel all of a sudden a sense of sadness, a sense of happiness, overjoyed feeling before the show even starts? you left feeling a little bit drained like I'm feeling right now it's probably because of the psychic energy the energy of spirits that are there and so I had fun lots of fun with that although even though I make fun of that I it was worth every single minute to see the pure joy on my daughter's face it was amazing first time for her in the theater um, I'm sure it's not gonna be the last um, but what we did, as I mentioned, I protect uh, did ourselves. I have become uh, very diligent and vigilant with my daughter because she sees spirit too. And I have let her learn that you tell spirit to go away. My grandfather told me, and so that's what I pass on down to her. And I'm going to be right back because you heard that slam. I think my daughter just locked herself in the closet. <laughs> and so I'm going to be right back and I'll finish this. But she can't be locked in the closet because pretty soon we're going to hear screaming or who knows what she'll get into. So while at the theater, we had a pretty fun interaction with a friendly gentleman, a friendly spirit, a friendly ghost that came and visited my husband and I while we were um, watching the show. Um, nice guy who was hanging out and I thought, oh, what would be great? I'll try to get a selfie, see if I get a picture of him. So I did the type of look and snapped my phone. 
we got what was the cover uh, photo yeah. for this video. Yeah. Yeah. Which, how yeah. awesome is that? I mean, come on. Oh, the fact that, yes, I know how it happened. The lights from the stage, which were going and strobing around the theater, hit me at just the right moment. Just the right moment. A moment later, when I was looking at the phone, didn't see the blue on my face. Probably wouldn't have noticed if it was there. But because I snapped the phone, uh, the photo in that instant, pow, kind of creepy. Actually, made me look like I might have that spirit around me. Gives me that little ghost appeal myself. And it was just really awesome. I showed it to my husband. I'm like, I was trying to get a picture of the ghost. And look. He's like, oh, you saw the ghosts too? I'm like, but look, look at this. How awesome is this? He's like, D did you put a filter on? I'm like, no, no filter. This is me trying to get a picture of the ghost. Uh, some people get orbs, some people get lights. I got the ex I got the look of the ghosts. And again, I realized logically it was because the lights were strobing around the audience in the theater. I'm not an idiot and think that, oh my gosh, the ghost lit up my face. That's, but it didn't have to. The coincidence, the synchronicity of me snapping that picture in that moment was enough for me to be able to validate for myself that look at that spirit that I was asking to have uh, visualized and getting a picture of him actually made that happen. He was nice once I said hello, as my grandfather always told me, acknowledge the spirits and then they go away. He did. He went by the wayside and that heavy feeling that um, was within my heart and chest when he was around suddenly uh, went by the wayside. So that was my fun at Chase today and I'm a little tired because I did put that protective bubble. I had a there was the one gentleman, but there was lots of other spirits who just kind of popped in and like, oh, it's a medium. I'm like, well, there's lots of mediums around here. Everybody's a medium. And his his response was, well, you talk to us. So, hi. And then he moved on his way. It was great. Well, guys, I hope that you catch some pictures. And have you had experiences with uh, ghosts in theaters. You don't have to go far. You can often go to your uh, closest movie theater and you can have an experience there. So guys, do share your stories. Tell me about the local haunts and the local theater, uh, haunted places. I'd love to hear it. And I think it's time for me to get back to my daughter. This is day three. I can't be on this journey alone. I need you to be helping me along it. Because I, I still got 97 days to go. 97. That's a lot. A lot. What am I going to talk to for that much? <laughs> you're probably thinking, I don't think you're going to have a problem with that. So like, subscribe. Tell me your stories about you in the theater. Be it a theater, seeing a play, be it that you saw in the movies. Whatever it is. Have you been spooked by a ghost? What are your local haunted stories from the places all around? I want to hear them. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna go up.